Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today I wanted to talk about my six month usage of Army Painter Speed Paints. So, what and how I've been using them? Well, I've been using them in two ways. Number one, um, I'll use my Imper my Space Marines as an ex or uh, yeah, I'll use my Space Marines as an example. Or my Custodies actually, because I have one right here. Oh boom. Uh, what I'll do uh, to paint this guy up is I'll do an initial, you know, the Xenophil, the black, white, gray. But then I'll do golden armor over the entire model. Okay, cool. Now, we all have this issue. Use speed paint, use contrast, and then there's a little bit of coffee standing here and there. So then what I do is I come back, I'll put that down, is I'll come back with some more golden armor. So for every one drop of golden armor, I'll use two drops of quick shade medium. Yeah, I've been using them as a base and then a wash to that base. And I find that it cuts back on coffee standing massively because it kind of recoats. And I can also use it as highlights now. Um, I've been finding that I've been using multiple colors actually for different things, mostly the metals. So for example, if I want a more dirty metal uh, or so we'll go with a cleaner metal first or a gold, I'll use maize yellow with glittering loot and it will look very, very vibrant. A very vibrant, vibrant yellow. Like a yellowy gold. If I want a more dirtier one, I can switch it for sand golem. Or my more use my the one I use the most, zealot yellow. And it gives it more of a, a, a dirtier look. Um yeah, I've been kind of shocked as to how often and how I've been utilizing them, right? Because initially they're like, hey, one coat solution. Slather your thing in speed paint juice, and boom, there you go. You want space marines? Cover them in, uh, you know, in in high lord blue, and there you go, and they're fine. Um, no, I do high lord blue, then a wash of high lord blue, 50/50 with the with the medium, and then I'll do a dry brushing, um, or I'll do the dry brushing, and then, because then what'll happen is it'll just come back and even do a different thing. Um, one thing I've been noticing, and I'm going to be trying on my next batch of space marines is basing them in Hylor Blue, dry brushing them white, so getting all the little edges and all that stuff, and then I'm going to wash them uh, in one or two, uh, probably maybe 50-50 mix of Tidal Wave and uh, the Quick Shade Medium, and yeah, maybe even go for a lighter blue and see what happens, see if that makes the, you know, kind of like a fake edge highlight actually, is actually what I'm looking at. Um, I'm kind of excited actually to see if that's what ha that that happens, um, but yeah, that's what I've been using them for mostly is uh, a base and then a wash. Um, sometimes I've been using them just as washes. Um, for example, on Leah's uh, backpack uh, uh, back here, I did Grim Dark, uh, or sorry, I did um, Army Painter Black. Then after I did Army Painter Black, I dry brushed it white. To kind of get all the little edges that you can't see because it's now blurry. And then I came back and after I did the white uh, dry brush, I came back and did Grim Black. One drop of gl Grim Black for two drops of Quick Shade Medium. And wash the black, uh, wash the uh, the cloak. And the hair as well. I don't know if you can see the hair all that great just because my lighting is really crappy today. Because it is super dark outside. But yeah, um, I'm loving using them as washes. As well as my initial one coat solution paint. Um, it's something I wasn't expecting, but yeah, a couple colors that have really stuck out to me. The two leathers, I really like those. Um, like I said, maize yellow with gold, really nice. Um, or just the yellows in general with the golds is nice. Um, the reds and the browns with the copper and, um, and the bronze, really nice, makes them nice and punchy. Um, beiges, I still can't come up with the, which one is my favorite beige. Eh. Um, using a lot of camo cloak. Um, and the skins are, the skin tones, other than these two, these ones I think are a little too, too translucent. I'm not the biggest fan. I found that I've had to use these in one or two coats and then come in with the flesh wash, which I wasn't a fan of. But yeah, there we go. We're trying to keep this video under five minutes to try to get these through. Oh, and the pastels. Uh, pastel indigo with a little bit of blue wash makes brains pop um or any of the pastels with its accompanying um uh paint up here uh with a three to one mix of whatever the color is to kind of match 
this a little bit to make it really, really light. Makes it pop so good. That makes it just, the, the, I, I'm shocked sometimes at how good those pastels pop. With that, man, thanks for watching. I really appreciate, appreciate you. Could have been watching anything, but you're watching this. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.